Good morning, everyone. We're going to start by singing Are You Washed in the Blood, page 200, in the dark blue song book. It's 208, in the dark blue song book. Come on, you thankful people cover. Um, is this the one that we did at the school? One hundred. 
This one inmate said, I'm happy to see you again. I was waiting. I was waiting to see you. I guess they want to go to jail to see me. And I said that. And I guess he was at the door behind me and he was saying, Don't go on. I, I want to be in it. He knows that. I said, no. And when he got in, he, he just uh, was happy and then. Uh, Actually, we didn't read another verse, and he told him, I need to read a verse. So I told him to read John 1 8, and he read that. And then we told him, so, you know, some of these God want to see me for some reason. Uh, but this guy got saved uh, the last time that I knew him. But uh, so, you know, it's good to go there if you can. And then church members, their families, pray for them, essential employees. We have Sharon, Cheryl, Ellen, Solomon, and then uh, I think uh, the Lee family too, and the others. Recovery for those that are sick with COVID-19. And uh, I'll be preaching in Shipra on the, on the 8th. 
And uh, the pastor from there told me that uh, there's a spike or there's a, a uh, uh, a lot of people infected in that area uh, the last week. And uh, he told me to be careful when he come. And he said we follow the guideline. And so... And uh, that's what he was saying is to get in bed over there again. So pray for me that somebody will get saved, get right, and so forth. Then, uh, then pray for our nation. Uh, president Biden, President Johnson, is the right vice president. And pray for our country. We need a revival. During the time of probably uh, hardship and unusual time in the, their lives. Birthdays for Aiden on the 30th, Pochan also. And uh, so thank you for being here. Uh, who I'm missing. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Uh, our city called so that the church with Yahanda Jahito, Adon Possum Sagi Banda, Elegate of its other on the Haskri, Nenan, Washington, Kinahan, Kay, Dota, Hotan, Adon, Nate, on South Alnatica. The Coven, yeah, okay, go to Acts chapter. 23, we'll read from 1 through um, 10, okay, and Paul earnestly beholding the council said, Men and brethren, I have lived in all good conscience before God until this day. You know, uh, that word, until this day, something's about to happen here. And the high priest and the knights commanded them that they should, that stood by him, to smite him on the mouth. And now we'll read it and say, Was that the same day? No, I thought. I said, I didn't know what it was. Uh, then said Paul unto him, God shall smite thee, thou white wall. For thou sittest thou to judge me after the law, and commanded me to be smitten contrary to the law. And they that stood by said, Revilest thou God's high priest? Then said Paul, I wist not or knew not, brethren, that he was the high priest. For it is written, Thou shalt not speak evil of the rulers of the people. But when Paul perceived that one part were Sadducees and the others Pharisee, he cried out in, to the council, or in the council, Men and brethren, I am a Pharisee, the son of a Pharisee, of the hope of, and of the resurrection. After that, I am calling question. And when he had said, there arose a great dissension between the Pharisees and Sadducees, and the multitude word was divided. For the Sadducees say that there is no resurrection, neither angel nor spirit, but the Pharisees confess both. And there arose a great cry and scribes that were of the Pharisees apart arose and strove, saying, We found no evil in this man, but if a spirit or an angel had spoken to him, let us not fight against God. Somebody at least that have enough senses. You know, in America, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, to, to say, hey, we didn't let these guys have their own church. When they dare 
I rode the great um, sense of the chief captain here in this pause that we call in pieces of them commanded that the soldiers should go down and take him by force from them among them and to bring him into the castle. Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning. Help us this morning. We need help. Uh, uh, Holy God, we need the Spirit to uh, use the words to help uh, even see uh, something that's uh, important to us or for us. And God, us in this uh, morning's uh, message, we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Paul, a uh, conscience of the age. It's a moral, a good moral consciousness straight on. Uh, right, uh, right and wrong by it here. You know how to react or act in the, those situations. You know how things are going with you. And, uh, you know, some people uh, have uh, some uh, guilt that they live with all their lives. But uh, that should not be so, yeah, with the with, with great Creator being our, our Savior. We need to uh, always uh, take care of business. And uh, that's what a lot of times we don't do. Oh, they call it Paul. They've been met by 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 yet yet he doesn't be sad or no hearts. They no, they never sad. They just as over crack. They doesn't be sad. I wonder. I think I need him. Need to see by yet he had him. Need aya. Do comes do nesigi. What pay has done do nes do da comes do nesigi do what pay has done. A bit such a case or a con. A con what you don't. So now she is it ah oh even in now so they Paul aya for aya the even make it a heavy but not yet she thought we not all left so cool quite aya ah ah so quite the need ah actually we'll look at the word earnestly beholding the council. Ah, what's up, Daniel? You know, somebody looks at you. Uh, it might bother you, yeah. Uh, now we, we don't stare people in the eyes, yeah. Oh, well, the gun, when I spoke, oh, yeah, we care. Ah, that's a thing, oh, yeah. And that's now who it are. Uh, so she better, I knew the gun, yeah. But in the hat, you have of course, you think political because I think that is not a issue. Of course, you think it is a crack issue. I don't know how to do it. 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 อ่าเฮเฮอ่าฮิสอัลโมเฟลเฟลไซอ่าฮิสปาร์ทินเนอร์คอร์เนอร์อ่ะอ่าโหเอเบนีนาเอ็กโคโตอ่าอ่าวัน
And uh, we might just get mad for a If Paul uh, knew that, and his temperament is there, his uh, uh, real life uh, is, is there, and then uh, he, he knows uh, this is a tough situation, yeah. Ako <laughs> When the lot of times we make uh, the wrong uh, 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 response uh, in, from our mind, yeah. You know, your mind are full of uh, information. Your mind, uh, somebody, I don't know how they study it, they say uh, there are about 10,000 thoughts that, that will run through your mind the whole day. I don't know if it's 10,000 or it should be more than 10,000. I think you think a lot, and then, and all that is uh, uh, what the study has been uh, done, and uh, so your conscious are full of information, yeah. Of course, you take care of your conscience. Of course, the information, then it be it be it be it be it be that it's or it be it for now, yeah. And then in verse number two, and the high priest and the nice commanded him them that, that, that stood by him to smite him on the mouth, yeah. Uh, somebody that were by him said, oh, yes, then you have a crowd of people. So whoever is closest uh, was told to uh, hit the Zatzis and Jordan, yeah. And that is something, I mean, uh, I don't know if I would do that, if I was told to do that. I uh, I just don't hit anybody, yet, but I'm sure if, if they're all friends, they'll do it. And uh, so that's kind of uh, people that he was facing. And and then uh, Paul uh, answers that in verse number three. Then said Paul unto him, God shall smite thee, thou white wall, for thou sittest to judge me after the law. That's one. And commandest me to be smitten contrary to the law. Number two. Uh, two, uh, two wrongs. In, uh, he he called it two wrongs in the, uh, this man's life. Yeah. Oh, I call Paul a young Zacchaeus. I'm sure he's a thinking man, young Zacchaeus. Oh, but I'm sure you you need to think, yeah. Uh, don't 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 uh, do something rashly, honey. Yeah, uh, I I don't know this kid and that either. He don't need so every time that I have to take care of yourself. Of course, even in in control, it don't not see. You know that uh, his conscience <coughs> uh, is telling him. Uh, that that the Bible verses, yeah. Some of you have Bible verses, and uh, John answered that way to uh, court uh, Herod's uh, uh, wife and uh, the, the people there. So out oh, that you have to respond uh, in a biblical way, somewhere, somehow. Leviticus Leviticus nineteen and verse number thirty-five, though thirty-seven and that's part only. Ye shall do no unrighteousness in that 
So uh, his conscience was tested by the high priest, yeah. That's one person, the high priest, not or yeah. He might not be like the Pope that everybody looks to, yeah. Uh, he's coming to America. Uh, this high priest is probably that way. So whatever he says uh, stands. And then Paul said, you're wrong on that. And then uh, number two is Paul's test of conscience uh, by a bystander. Verse uh, number four back at our reading. Number four, and and they that stood by said, Revilest thou God's high priest. I wonder if he's the one that hit him. Yeah. <laughs> he's uh, standing by toast. And uh, he said, Number this and number this card, and that's it. Because that's it. And I had even the other day, and that night it's Nagy. Hey, I didn't see it on me. I could have visions and though in your mind, what would you think? And Paul is being tested here. And then he said, and let me uh, put in a comment here. You know, a bad, a bad high priest, yeah. The thought sent. They know there are bad people in the government, yeah. And uh, you might not like what they're doing. They sometimes order something. And then we need to, you know, Rome 13 is a place where we read about uh, obeying some authorities because God is an authority. You know, the book is an authority. The spirit is an authority. So we at least uh, obey something. And so uh, I believe that the bystander was right by what he said, and then Paul was right by what he said. Yeah, both were right. And uh, so, you know, uh, his mind is clear about what he's thinking. Yeah, Paul, oh, there's one such case. I didn't see him. In <laughs> So what are we? A ye lala. Don't they yet what out na nice nehi edo thou not an in lane? Edo to 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 hat out a delicht an nika zane. John he uses the book again after this uh, one, two, twenty eight. Yeah, uh, God is that so now you'll 
That's why we're believers, yeah. We ought to think, have a clear mind, yeah. I'll ask them, so I'll ask them, and then not see it up, yeah. Don't answer to get We've got to have a clear mind, yeah. Don't land on it, no. I caught all the years with people are running all over America, thinking, wow, they bought a lot of things. They ought not be thought of. Mm -hmm. You got to got to have some brain, yeah. You got to have some a book that that uh, penetrates your mind and cleans it, and then gives you a direction. A what all what answer is it? Oh, you never know that. Then you can a pass on. Oh, God is that a honey? Ah, John fifteen four. That's right. You are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. And the talk is. You're being cleansed, or your mind ought to be filled with some biblical uh, uh, wisdom, and then your assessment of the situation ought to be good. So when the echo in the never had a state on the edge of the land, a Johnson case, so what I'll say, a Paul, a what I bought in this town. ตาบัดซิสตันดอไซอ่านอ่านนี่กินซีนาซีนะซีปะตินนี่อคตอาสะเกอานิดอาคตเอโตอุสเนตะพอลเอโตติกิยัลคิดะชิโดโตติสเน
You know, if you have a clear mind, you always win. You get that? You always will win. You know, in jail last year, uh, 2020, or even, yeah, 20, there's a guy that, a guy that was naughty, always naughty. He'll be talking, uh, uh, talking, uh, this crazy. Okay, we'll start off by having this guy read. You know that settled him down. When he starts talking, I like him to read. And he will read. And then he said, he would uh, be... <clears throat> Um, and then actually, I think he got saved. Yeah. He became timid. So you can control your situation with that. You can uh, learn some training. Hey, uh, now kita ota ano hindi he got uh, some uh, some verses. You know this guy that comes to church here, and uh, uh, he wipe out say, but uh, they will, will not be here today, maybe next week. But uh, you know, he came to me with a whole lot of problem, and he would get me off guard that like maybe during that day he would call and say, what, what, what verse do you want me to read? So I have to think quickly, what shall I tell him? Hmm. And then I tell him to read uh, Ephesians 6, 1 through the end of the chapter, uh, 1 John, and then uh, something about sin, Galatians 5 about the flesh, Galatians 7. I would uh, just give me the verse, and then uh, and then uh, he was asking me about uh, Hezekiah, where he uh, uh, prayed for his healing. Uh, look up that verse, I think, King, I think, what, 19, 8, or something like that. And and actually, that helped him. Uh, I have to stay on the ball. I have to give him the answer, and that helped him. Hmm. And uh, so that will be with you also. You can help somebody, but of course you might have time to find something. But for me, he would just call, hey, which, what verse do you want me to read? And then John 17, I think, was my last uh, verse about Lord's Prayer. I think that was the last one, and then after that thing, actually totally change the opposite and which was good you know god will help you of course now when they fall control yeah i might be running behind back at x23 control of his conscience yeah priest in our sinister he work on the priest he work on the religious leader, he worked on the Jews, he actually worked on the soldiers, and so forth. Now he got Pharisees or Pharisees and Pharisees. There's a big group here. And he's thinking, yeah, Paul is, actually, let's back up. Let's back up. Uh, I was going to read you a verse in John 14. And I actually forgot. You know, I think he learned from uh, the Lord. Yeah. The Lord. Uh, notice what he, he said here in uh, John 4, 16. 
Jesus a dini de bi eit vader ort a lance of Jesus said unto her, Go, call thy husband and come hither. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Jesus said unto her, Thou hast said well, Leah. I have no husband, thou seest then. I have no husband, thou seest then. I have a great Eliya. For thou hast five husbands, and he whom thou hast is not thy husband, in that that is thou truly. Ah, neighbor, then. And from there, you know, that woman uh, actually began to calm down and respond. And she got saved. I think that Paul, or uh, uh, Paul used that his situation a similar way. Yeah. Of course, so that's your, you know, you can learn uh, to approach situation uh, that, that faces you every day. Your uh, father, she, hey, has your, uh, none looked on that all day. You get me? Mm-hmm. Okay, back at Acts uh, 1, 3, verse 6 or less. Uh, Paul controls uh, of his conscience. For the Look at 6. But when Paul perceived that one part were Sadducees, uh, he says um, uh, a whole, uh, most of the group probably were uh, crowd of Sadducees and the other Pharisees, another crowd Pharisees. He cried out in the council, men and brethren, I am a Pharisee. So he identified with one Yah. The son of a Pharisee of the hope of the resurrection of the dead, I am called in question. And when he had so said, there arose a dissension or division between the Pharisee and the Sadducees, and the multitude was divided. Yeah. They are talking about uh, praise. Religious people, you got soldiers, you got Jew, all kind of people maybe join with the Sadducees or join with the Pharisees. Yeah, side there, right in the middle. You know, Paul control, yeah. Have his been such case, yeah, they know a thing. Of course, this case is going to need prayer for that. That's not me. Bit of wonder, it's a bit wonder. Look at seven. And when he had so said, there arose the dissension between the Pharisees and the Sadducees, and the multitude was divided. Eight. For the Sadducees say that there is no resurrection, neither angel, nor spirit. But the Pharisees confessed both, yeah. You know, he knew it, yeah. Paul knew it. <laughs> so he said, hey, I'm a Pharisee. I said, I'm a Pharisee. So, I said, I'm a Pharisee. 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 あちらだってスキルだ、スキルだ、ハイテ、ポジョタイ、イティチェ、ポジョタイティチェ。これだ、ほんね、スキルだ、スキルだ、ハイテ、ポジョタイティチェ。ポジョタイティチェ。ポジ
And then it talks about Abraham having the same power, that power with man and power with God. Yeah. And that's what Paul had here. Power with man and power with God. Using scripture, using that human uh, relationship here. Uh, I didn't read, uh, I mean, I didn't write these down. Let's just read it through. In verse 9, there rose a great cry. And the scribes that were of the Pharisees' part arose and strove, saying, We find no fault, no evil in this man. But if it be spirit or angel hath spoken to him, let us not fight against God. So wow. it was in Kayenia. Uh, they were uh, actually backing him up now. And when there arose a great dissension, the chief captain, fearing uh, lest Paul should have been pulled in pieces, commanded the soldiers to, to go down and take him by force from among them and to bring him into the castle. Mm -hmm. You know, some groups say, well, Kill him. And then that his uh, Pharisee friends over here say, hey, uh, we want him. He's, he's right by what he's saying. Mm. And then, you know, there's a, a physical confrontation, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's what that is. See, Paul, it, in that case, he pay, yeah. <clears throat> of all, Luke 2, for the 2, that's it. I ain't no. Jesus, a yako, a chuniyako no seto, a konde ekwe. Okay, Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and men. Abraham, no ahat abayachi, a kokodo hot ene la. A hot ishe ha rahagit a chuniyol o. You take out your tool and use it. That's what he did with, the, with his running with the people. You can do that. You can make some headway in your witness. Yeah. Of course, you know, what they did just backfired. Backfire, it's a yeah, never get it as an eh, get the has a half on that, and then all the occasion, I slay ya. Oh, by Yahoo, say, when I was allowed that I'll eat you, I'll call her even in. Let me tell you, uh, there's some story, I mean, some reading on conscience stories. This morning, if you're not saved, the Bible talks about your conscience. Titus chapter 1 and verse, verse 13, unto the pure, all things are pure. Nah? Uh, we've been in business here in church, yeah. I hope you're all here in with me. You're pure. You're thinking about the, the Bible. You're thinking about Jesus. You're thinking about heaven. You're thinking about the Holy Spirit. You're thinking about unity. We're all here thinking the right things. A Christian. But unto them that are defiled, and unbelieving is nothing pure, ne? Do stay yaki do, do tlangi ka do, do tlaka uza do, do tlak. Eh, ado, ado when the yeta is in zen. Like I was saying about the game, uh, John three sixteen. That your TV maybe the sky might. Uh, have an idea of what that John 3, 6, in the art of the Dutch and Chin. It would seem to be bad. It would seem to be 
something that's uh, wrong there. They all, always going to say that, un, unsaved world is going to say that. Of course, I don't, uh, even in, uh, uh, you know, people that don't come to church on Sunday, uh, mm-hmm. of course, uh, they thought that uh, I don't uh, want to go hunting that, that is, uh, it was, so it looked like I could answer the case and that, uh, uh, that is kiss. Now, the other night is she kissed by the shark or that the shark. Oh, no, no, shark. Oh, 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 oh. And it's coming down. And the short answer case, all this, yeah. I even get church or the crap album in the head. Jonathan. It's a waste of time for uh, those that don't believe to go to church or. Uh, then they have fishing, fun, birthdays, uh, laundry done, shopping done, and all that. You know, Black Friday shit done in ya. The last day, ya. Yeah. And some of you guys want to say, hey, I gotta go. <laughs> Cut <it> short. <laughs> but, you know, I'm saved, eh? What the do is, ya. If you're saved, hey, eh? you're hoping for an extra time to make it there. And you'll like it. Up for a corner. How about uh, First Timothy 4 2? 4 2, not it? Speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with hot iron. Yeah. Ha ha ne eat auto thought, let no no. Of course, what I saw, a cheat evangelist, a lying person. In other words, the brain is cooked. Like a coke, not the kind I drink, but the kind you take. You cook, so your brain is not thinking right. You know, that's probably a lot of people in this world like that. How about Christian Vishnana, the weak Christian? Hey, they're, they're, they're the file. You know, I call it a lot of people like that in my life. They say, why you do this? Why don't you do this? And they question me. Look at uh, 1 Corinthians 8, 7. How be it there is not every man. Let's back up to verse 6. But to, to us there is but one God, yeah, the Father, of whom are all things, and we in him and one Lord Jesus Christ, by whom are all things. And we by him. How be it there is not in every man that knowledge. For some with conscience of the idol unto this day, unto this hour, either as a thing offered unto idol, and their conscience being weak is the far, but me, a man us. Not to God, neither, neither we be or we be, be any better, be better. And neither is, uh, neither if we eat, not are we the worst. I have found people that question. Uh, what they can't be in the uh, White Valley, that's on the side of Penny on one time. And all they had was coffee and nailed down bread made with uh, blood mm-hmm. and fat. 
It was a uh, smell good, uh, steam right coming from it. Put it before me. I prayed. I know what it was. And I ate it. And then some people question that. That's what it means. That strong person will not be affected by. But with, with these are the people that we came to and knew they ate it. So it probably, I don't know what they thought about it, but we as believers knew that uh, my pastor taught us not to eat uh, blood. But that day, if somebody saw me, you know, a weak Christian is going to be confused. Yeah. What's he doing? But in this, this, this situation, is idle. You know, I actually got some uh, candy one time. The nuns are that she ate it later. She ate the car the whole one, but I like you with it. That's for that. That's the final day. They throw candy out through the chimney. Mm. And then you catch it like you do during do the fair. And you, he said, "This is this is a that kind of uh, candy." He gave it to me. I don't know what it was. It didn't bother me. I ate it. But if it, a weak Christian was around, you know, they're going to be the part. They're going to be part of us. This this is from a, a sport dance. Doesn't he know that? And then they sink in, sink in, sink in. You know, that's what it means. Uh, you know, Navajo, Navajo, like, just like the Jews, yeah. Jews don't have Navajo, get that. Big, I have it, it's out in Nava. Of course, in the Havate, Babbit or Kizer, yeah, I can't, the Babbit or Kizer, a ardent and so. Hey, so that's where you have to learn to see. Be careful. I think it's in that same chapter or the same verse somewhere, or actually, it's, I think it's 10. He says, that, do not offend your brother for whom the Lord Jesus died. And uh, that's it, it says, Rose again. And he said, don't offend him. So be careful. So I'm careful. I don't hurt any Christian that are weak. But, uh, the other situation I told you about are just personal. No weak Christian were around, so I, I didn't hurt anybody. But I told you, if you're weak, I hope you don't get offended. Okay, the growing uh, Christian conscience a God in this year. Growing Christian. Of course, you know, a uh, growing Christian would uh, like to know what happened to them when they got saved, yeah? And then uh, I usually tell them something about what happened. Hebrews chapter 10, 22, and Neela, it says, Let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith. Having a heart sprinkled means wash or cleanse from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Evil conscience, yeah. 
Do Christians think evil? If they got some brain, probably they think evil now. But you, the Bible says you are cleansed. You are cleansed from your evil conscience. But we sometimes still do. I uh, might be apprehensive about uh, what they're doing or saying yet. Oh, you know, need to have to be a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little I think they're saying, but then I might ask them a question, how did it happen? And then they tell me that they had a preacher put their hand on their head and pray and guarantee him that he would go to heaven. I said, hey, it doesn't work that way. Didn't you read the Bible? And then they uh, not that strong, I'll say, may I tell you where it says how to be saved? Mm -hmm. And then they say, sure. So we'll go through that. And then they, they say that, uh, I guess I'm not saved. You know, a guy that, uh, what is it? A guy that was going to Paradise Valley Baptist Church said he was saved and he came to church here several times when i went to his house uh i asked him oh, he said you're saved and he said yes would you tell me how it happened he said i went to paradise valley baptist church maybe the word baptist has a secret to it i don't know but he said paradise valley baptist church okay but how did you know you are saying he said i was faithful i tied i gave money where in the bible does it say that and he actually doesn't say how to be saved yeah i said sure Want me to tell you how to, how to know? So it opens to the book of Rome. Halfway through. And uh, actually tears were running down like a lot. Sitting across me, crying like a baby. He said, I want to have that. He got saved. You know, you can't do that. How did you get it? How about going to Hebrew chapter 1? I'm just having a good time. <laughs> chapter 1, okay, verse number 3. Who being in brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word. I will uh, cross that, uh, underline it. <laughs> upholding all things by the word of his power. That's a slight, slight notation. Okay, when he had by himself hurts our sins set down on the right hand uh, of the majesty's own heart. Purge our sins. Yeah, I know that you're a savior. You stay in the young spells and all. Try to get the skids on them. They don't got, if God does something, he's going to do it. It's going to be real. It's not a half, halfway done job. It's not partially done. It's going to be a complete salvation of course a lot of people don't think that seems uh, that well yeah now go to chapter 9 
in the same book. And verse number 14, how much more shall the blood of Christ who through the eternal spirit offer himself without spot to God hurts your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. You know, there's some dead works that people still do, yeah. You know, God uh, tells that. And hey, we're not trying to get saved. We're saved. You put in your tithe. That's not for salvation. That's uh, the Lord's requirement plus maybe the work. And uh, go ahead. You have hurts. That's what God says. Um, that work, so he should work by to keep, uh, to keep myself safe, I really do this. No, you're safe. You stay in the yacht, or the hot, either banana, tahi, beta. You stay in the yacht. I don't like him then. And then the walk with God, uh, well, when you're with this, I hope we'll do it. Uh, walk. Okay, first, most of them are in Timothy. Okay, first Timothy 3 9. Holding the mystery of the faith in pure conscience. Mystery of the faith has out not. No, you have it right. And that, you know, fun school in the. First Timothy, I think it was 12, 13, where we were talking about uh, uh, he was counted faithful, yeah. And then he wasn't able to be in the ministry. You know, God does something. Uh, we care for that. We take care of that. How about First Timothy 1, 19? Uh, yeah. I don't know why I put that down. Okay. First okay. Timothy 1 19. Holy faith and good conscience, which some having put away concerning the faith, have made shipwreck near. Mm -hmm. So you need to have uh, have good conscience, so you won't get into a shipwreck, yeah. Christian life, as you in the case, you know you get angry, you know you have temper, you know you get disappointed, you know you'll uh, <clears throat> doubt some things, so you, you know. You, you are you, you are in the flesh. Good conscience will get you through. Keep, keep going. Avoid the shipwreck. Even in, uh, that's why you're here. Yeah. Avoid the shipwreck. You're getting me? That's key, guys. Those are the Italian and so on here. Avoid shipwreck. You know, people quit their Arbeit to Bajot Lin, the Adahot E. They quit church, they quit reading the Bible, quit praying, uh, quit work, they quit everything. Just quit. And we have preachers that do that. But don't do that. Have a good conscience. As John's in the case, yeah. Up here. First Timothy one five. If they're not they need like that. Now the end of the commandment is charity. Out of pure heart and of good conscience and of unfaith faith unfaith. Charity means uh, you're willing to sacrifice something to help somebody. Charity 
is uh, used several times in the Bible, I think one, two, or three. And uh, it's the highest uh, point you can be in your good feeling, your love, brotherly kindness. No, I think Second Timothy will tell you brotherly kindness, and the next will be charity. Verse Second Peter, uh, chapter one, verse uh, I think it's eight or not. Brotherly kindness, a point is a slatanic law. A yoda, he didn't give a kid a charity. A has got to work different than never cars, or there was an oil I think my being first Corinthian 13 also used that word, but I'm not sure on that. How about going to Second Timothy one three? Second Timothy one three. I thank God whom I serve from my forefathers with pure conscience that without ceasing I have remembrance of thee in my prayers night and day. Wow. Your conscience, forefathers, so you don't know what your forefathers did. Yeah. Some I have uh, been saved. Some may not have been saved. But when God puts you where you are, you can uh, serve the Lord. Yeah. The last verse, the human uh, Acts on the four, Acts on four sixteen. All right, uh, and here in do I exercise myself, Paul, I be an honesty, to have all the ways a conscience void of offense toward God and men. And remember, I'll use that word. God and man, void of offense to God, void of offense to man, yeah. That's why I had power with God, yeah. Let's see there, I don't know. God in God or Ahagi, then the never God or Ahagi, then even never actually, I don't know. I hope you have a good conscience this morning. I pray you'll keep a good conscience, stay in the fight, stay with me all the way. Don't even get it. All the way. Fight in the arms, it's something that class here. All the way. Coffee plus no coffee. Let's <laughs> go all the way. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. For well, your word, we pray for all. It's just a blessing of God hearing this uh, message about conscience. We want to have a conscience void of offense to what God made. We want to be good. We want to win people. We want to help people. Bless us with that. We want to have charity. We want to serve you. Well, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> We're going to end this service by singing Joy to the World, page 87 in the Dark Blue Songbook. Great Hands of Faith. Page 87. 
Thank you. 